Emily Elizabeth and YouTube it's Wednesday which means it's time for my second item on my bucket list and the fourth item on our collective bucket list that may or may not have crossover no Friday classes I have been dreaming since freshman year of that schedule where you get to wake up late and not go to class on Fridays and I finally achieved the like not go to class on Fridays but instead of being a normal person and you know like sleeping in I now have an internship that makes me get up at 6.30 in the morning and take a train downtown. So that's how I do that. Since I can't like tell you all the awesome things that I do on Fridays now and like awesome Thursday nights I have because I get to sleep in, I'm going to tell you a little bit of a rant from today from work. I work at a science museum um, and it's one of those kind of like hands-on awesome science museums. Today we had like a training thing for the new exhibit that's come to our museum which is really awesome and really exciting and I love it and it's like music and uh, math and a whole bunch of just awesome 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 things with like there's math in all of it but it's also really fun and I was really upset because some of the older people who volunteer there seemed to think that the whole point is for us as facilitators to teach them because they're stupid all of these math concepts like this is an X and Y coordinate system and uh, this is a trend and uh, X squared plus Y squared equals Z squared and Y equals MX plus B all of these things that are really really math math things and seem to think that if they didn't know these math math things they couldn't possibly learn anything from the exhibit and that really frustrates me because the whole reason that I love museum education and why I'm looking at going into science communication all of these things is to show people that math or science or any of these things don't have to be that really rigid structured school classroom setting they can be really fun and awesome and like just things you play with and things you learn and testing things out and trying things and all of that that's what makes science and math and that makes scientists and mathematicians and engineers it drives them it really makes them do the things they do because they love to do it and maybe Liz you want to talk a little bit about why you're an engineer and how experiments and like figuring things out is why you like to do it and not the numbers and equations and all of those things can help you do the other things but if you don't have the motivation in the first place that you love this idea and this concept and you see all the cool things that it can do for you first that can drag you in then you're not going to want to do all the picky you and things it's like if you saw a rainbow you're interested in the rainbow and then if somebody tells you why the rainbow happens because uh, different wavelengths of light refract at different angles and therefore get split up into the different parts of the rainbow then that's really cool because now you know why a rainbow works you didn't go through all this stuff about light refracts and blah 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 and if it hits at this angle it will end up at this point on the paper you really want to see what you're getting to first and then learn the little things along the way it's like learning an instrument you have to learn all the scale stuff first but you wouldn't want to learn all the scale stuff first if you didn't have some awesome Bach concerto that you're going to listen to that drives you to want to do those things. Anyway, Emily, I am looking forward to your bucket list item on Friday. Bye, guys.